guys, welcome back. Um, it's been a while since I've done a layout update, but I, I do have a few things to talk about here. First of all, I'll actually start running the trains again this week. And there's my executive Mac. I really love that one. I got it for Christmas in 2016. But I have a few things on the list that I need to say. And first of all, See this tank, gar this tank car here? This is my very first product from the manufacturing company. It's called, it's called Scale Trains. This is, a, this is the rivet counter tank car. 31,000 gallon crude oil tank car. And this exact one is TILX350670. And the detail is amazing on this. And speaking of scale trains, if you don't know, they are releasing, they're making tier 4 Jeevos and I think seven different schemes. They are BNSF, Norfolk Southern, Union Pacific, CSX Transportation, Canadian National, the GECX demos and even one in their in their own company logo scheme, which is the seventh one. And speaking of pre-orders, they're not out yet, but you can pre-order them if you haven't. And if you want one, you should go ahead and do so because they might fly off the shelves really fast when they come out. I think they're supposed to come out sometime this summer. But I have a GECX demo ET44AC and a BNSF ET44C4 on pre-order, both with ESU lock sound and DCC. So I'll definitely have some tier fours in the layout for you at some point. So that's something to look forward to. And if you're wondering what these four heritage units are sitting out here for, um, they're being stored. Well, not stored, but kind of stored, but they're more just on hold then being stored and they might be used on a train at some point so that's why I'm, they're kind of so they're kind of on hold but a little bit in one if you want to call them stored that's okay because they may sit there a few more days but on this train I've got my BNSF Heritage Hopper the Denver Road I think is what it is then my new D M and E grain hopper as well I got those at the OMRA train show a few weeks ago actually about a month ago so those are really cool um let me think is there something else I wanted to talk about oh yes um I have so I've, I've po recently posted some new videos and a cut one of them didn't hardly even get 50 views in like two days or three days so if you could please start go watching more of my rail thing videos, I would greatly appreciate that. So, um, I do appreciate the subscribers, and I've got a pretty cool number, 2,222 subs right now, last time I checked. And over 100,000 video views at this point, so that's another big thank you to say about that for the channel. And I hope to continue providing videos for you guys. I've got a lot in my backlog fo folder on the computer that I've not uploaded yet, so you'll be seeing plenty of stuff coming. As, as well. I've seen also one more thing when we'll be done here. I've heard BNSF has taken out, I know BNSF has taken out many war bonnets and fake bonnets and stuff like that. You might have noticed I've caught a few of them recently, or seen a few of them recently here in town, so I'm really excited about that. But one more thing, if you see any um, war, bon war bonnets or fake bonnets, which they want you to call them BNSF war bonnets, but you know what I'm talking about, um, that are not on heritageunits.com, which is the website where you can report them, please email them with a picture and tell them that where you saw it so they know to add it. I recently saw 643 and they have not added it yet so so do the same thing. If you have any idea on BNSF in real life units 787, 
712, 691, and 695. If you could please let me know or them know if you see them in service, like recently or if you see them soon. So, well, that wraps it up for this layout update. So, thank you for watching.